As a young guy, you should be deploying certain grooming tricks into your routine to look as attractive as possible. And most of these you ignore because your dad didn't teach you. I'm going to give you an example. Scraping your tongue. Right? This is like one of those basic ones you should be doing on a daily basis because without fresh breath, I promise you, no girl's going to want to talk to you. And the easiest way to get that oral hygiene in check is to scrape your tongue. All that white gunk you see on your tongue, that has to go. Grab some tooth floss. You can buy a tongue scraper. That's a better option. They're like two bucks. But if you can't, grab some floss, wrap it around your fingers, and then just gently scrape your tongue until you remove all that white gunk. That white gunk, that's food and bacteria decay that's giving you the bad breath. Two, edge up your hairline. See, when your barber's lining you up, right, he's making you look perfect, every time he lines you up, all he's doing is adding symmetry to your face. So he's making sure that your lineup is as straight as possible for the shape of your head, which gives you symmetry, and that's why you look so attractive. So if you can't afford going to the shop every two weeks, at least buy yourself a trimmer. Buy yourself a single blade. Both of these you can get on Amazon pretty affordably and learn how to give yourself an edge up. That way you can maintain the haircut to look as clean as possible while also giving your face that structure to look good. Three, apply lotion as soon as you get out the shower. See, with every time you shower, especially in that hot water, you're stripping your skin from all the nutrients, all the hydration that it needs, which ends up irritating it and causing problems like body acne or facial acne. And this is because most of the products that you're using in the shower are borderline detergents. They're, they're stripping your skin from the natural oils that you actually need and not re-nourishing it. Unless you're using something like heat grooming, which uh, that's exactly what your boy did. Like I made sure that our body wash, every time you showered, not only used the best ingredients in the world, but also hydrated your skin. So when you step out, our regenerated formula makes your skin feel soft on top of, we're using fragrance oils from France. So when you step out, you step out with soft skin that smells amazing. You don't even need to apply a fragrance. Yo, it's so good I want you to try. Matter of fact, our shower bundle, which is our body wash, our shampoo and conditioner, will make any shower product that you've ever used just feel subpar. You'll never go back to the regular stuff once you try the premium stuff. So I want you to try our shower bundle, and I'm gonna, and I'm gonna offer you a 50% off discount if you subscribe for the next 24 hours. And here's the catch, for the next 100 guys that click the link down below and order right now, you're gonna get a free body scrubber. That silicone body scrubber, it's 50 bucks on our site. We're gonna give it to you for free on top of the 50% off. And if you live in the US, free shipping, free returns. Bro, if you wanna level up your shower game so your skin's always on point and you smell amazing, you gotta check this out. Which rolls us on to number four, you apply a fragrance. See, if you don't have heat grooming, you, you're not smelling amazing. You gotta smell amazing one way or another. So every time you step out the shower, after you've applied your body lotion, you've sealed in that moisture and hydration from the shower, now your skin's perfect and primed for a fragrance. See, fragrances, when they sit on top of hydrated skin, they stay longer, allowing the fragrance to last longer all day. What happens is most of you dry out your skin in the shower, you're not hydrating your skin afterwards, and then you apply a fragrance. What ends up happening is that your skin ends up absorbing the oils from that fragrance, which is what smells good, because it's looking for hydration. It wants to be moisturized. So now your fragrance only lasting one to two hours because your skin has been dried out. Five, wash your face before bed. You should actually take a shower because it's kind of nasty rolling around in bed after being out all day. But if you're not doing that at a bare minimum, you should wash your face. See, your face, because you've been out all day, has sweat, has oil, has dead skin cells, has dirt particles. All of that is stacking up on your face and, and particularly clogging up your pores. And then you're deciding to go to sleep for 10 hours with all that stuff, rolling around all that crap, which is basically blocking your pores and causing that skin irritation and breakouts to happen the next day. If you want to prevent this, wash your face before you go to bed. Six, start trimming down there. Look, daddy's not gonna tell you when to start. Like, and plus, that's an awkward conversation. Could you just imagine your dad coming up to you like, hey boy, it's time. It's time you start shaving your poop. See, that's, I don't even want to say that. That's uncomfortable. So you got your older brother letting you know. Once they start growing like crazy, once you got the testosterone running, you got to start learning how to shave. See, the earlier you start, I started pretty early, 
Not only are you primed and ready, you also learn, right? You learn how not to cut yourself, how not to nick yourself. This is just one of those rite of passages a man must take, and the earlier you do it, the more of a pro you'll become. Which ultimately rolls us to number seven, never compromise your sleep. Look, you're grooming, how well you look, you can do everything right. But as a young guy, if you're not prioritizing, if you're not making sleep, you're number one. If sleep weren't a normal thing, it would be a banned substance. Sleep is so powerful for, for HGH production, for recovery, for your performance, both mentally, physically. Bro, sleep is the most powerful trick. I heard LeBron sleeps like 12 hours a day. I slept last night from 12 to 8. I got up, ate breakfast, and I went back to sleep from 8.30 to 12.30. So that's pretty good, right? This is what you need to be prioritizing to be on your A game daily and you're not putting in number one. Yo, it is free, it is natural, and most of you, especially when we're young, we put it on the last thing, on, on the last level of importance. I need you to prioritize sleep.